Hello, and welcome to Cut It With A Hammer. I'm doing this video because I had a viewer ask me, where's uh, part two of the Kumiko table? And that's a very good question. And so we'll bring you up to speed on everything that's going on, and we'll actually do Kumiko 1.5. So at Christmas week, I broke my foot. So, but I didn't find out about it for another week. So I'm in this uh, for a few more weeks at least. And it's made getting the shop difficult, and so I haven't been doing a whole lot <laughs> shop lately. Um, the idea on the Kumiko table was I was going to finish it this winter after I got my assembly table completed, but I ran into a problem with that, and I need to get a new full sheet of plywood, which means I have to cut that out on the driveway because I didn't get the two and a half meter hammer, and so I have to wait kind of weather. So we're waiting on that. Well. We're also waiting on this, and I am having a little pain in the arm too. I don't know what this winter is. It's at least it's not COVID 19, right? So, anyway, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I have been doing since the end of the last Kumiko video. Uh, I actually did do a little bit of work on it a couple weeks ago, but I am out of pieces, so I now I'm I need to get back in the shop to cut some more. So, but uh, let's go ahead and get to the video. I use the old school version of SketchUp, so I sketch up things in my uh, that I want to check out in detail or see how they're going to look. For this table, all I did was do the apron, the Kumiko I was going to put in on the apron. So here I've got the pieces that I've already put together for the Kumiko. And then... What's missing is the piece that goes right there, and I've got to do a bunch of that. Here I use the sled to cut just the uh, all the pieces to the right, supposedly to the right length. I had to do, I did all those, and it did, didn't take that long, but I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch all of it. I'll just make you watch the first half. And this is my Kumiko jig on my old table saw. And basically, every time I needed uh, a different type of cut, I put in a new uh, block of wood. So here I'm cutting uh, 45 degrees on the end of the pieces I cut in the previous. This is just for the ones to go around the outside of the uh, Kumiko frame. I don't remember how many pieces I cut. I think it was close to, I want to say 380, but for some reason 700 also sticks in my mind. And I found out that some of the pieces needed to be just a hair shorter, so I just took them over to my disc sander and just skimmed off a little bit off the end. And in a couple of cases, uh, a little bit too much, which is how I was doing. For the pieces that went inside the frame, I had to trim off uh, the ends about an eighth of an inch. The pieces are eighth inch wide and a quarter inch thick. And then I have a jig for which I can assemble Kumiko pieces. And this is the assembly of the, the ones that you saw in the previous clip. And I made 16 of those. Here is what it looks like on the table at the current time. Uh, I will glue the rest of them in as I get them done. So that's where I am on the Kimiko table. And I hope to finish it before the first anniversary of the start of uh, making the table. I appreciate you all sticking around. 
like, subscribe, leave a comment or question if you'd like, and I'll see you in the next video.